This is Helmand province, one of Afghanistan's most troubled regions and Britain's front line in the war against terror. Get out, motor on the same motor. Here in Helmand, soldiers from the Royal Gurkha Regiment fight alongside the British Army. Together, they are locked in a battle with the Taliban. Thousands of miles from their homes in Nepal, the Gurkhas are fighting in a country where they share more in common with the Afghans than any other group in the coalition forces. The name Gurkha comes from the town of Gorkha in western Nepal. The Gurkhas have been fighting for the British since 1815, when groups of Nepali soldiers were recruited by the East India Company. Since then, military men calling themselves Gurkhas have fought for the British in every major battle. Today, the soldiers are primarily here in Helmand, where a major offensive began this past summer. Their job is to mentor the Afghan National Police and work closely with the Afghan National Army. <laughs> In Afghanistan, many Gurkhas bond well with the ANP because the Gurkhas understand and speak Urdu. During patrols throughout the city, the Gurkhas and Afghans often share Bollywood songs and jokes. They're obviously coming from Nepal. They know about sort of um, tribal society and also um, the geographical situation. They're being high altitude and everything. They're very well suited to. They've grown up in high altitude. Fitness-wise, it's not a, not a problem for them really. And the cultural side of life, they just they just get it. Well, they understand why these people aren't getting on with each other or why there's problems. They understand it. Afghan police say Gurkhas are like brothers as they fight together to protect Afghanistan. Every morning, the Gurkhas patrol the Lashkar Gah Bazaar and stop at police checkpoints throughout the area to collect reports. In the course of their work here, some Gurkhas have built strong relationships with local civilians. Sergeant Shiva Kumar Rai attributes much of that to culture affinity. We work as a team and we like to share the things like food or whatever you have. We like to share. And that's what exactly Afghan did. Yeah, that's the first thing. And I think uh, we care about other guys on the team, and exactly they do. And they are really working for their, their group or their brother or their uh, families. British officers say that the unique bond between Gurkhas and Afghans has helped the British at times to receive valuable intelligence about their enemies. They'll go up to the boys and they'll say to the boys, oh, this has happened in this checkpoint. And you'll ask the checkpoint commander and he'll say, no, don't know about that. No, this happened. And he'll say, no, this definitely happened. And you'll go to wherever he says, and then there's something happened there. Actually, that guy, they have very good friends with. So he'll, he'll make a conscious effort to come and talk to the boys. But the strongest relationship the Gurkhas have is with their British counterparts. Living and working with the British, the Gurkhas have blended quite well into Western culture. But even though they are far from home, the Gurkhas stay connected to Nepal, often by listening to Nepali radio programs. And when it comes to food, even a hot summer afternoon does not stop them from preparing their own meal. At the end of the day, the boys gather inside their tents with a guitar and sing Nepali songs. Songs about leaving their loved ones behind, songs about fighting far away from home, and songs about being a Gurkha. Yo am
मेरो दुर्खाली हो जस दर जे भन जता सुके लाई जो मलाई 